Hey guys, uh, these are the new AF HEMA Deluxe Gauntlets. These just came out and I picked up a pair because I thought I would check them out and give them a review. Um, I've had a little bit of experience with the previous uh, Absolute Force HEMA Gauntlet and uh, so far I have to say this one's uh, much, much improved. So starting with the material here, uh, on the old glove there was a bunch of this very nasty uh, there's a bunch of this nasty, creaky plastic that was no good, and there's none of that on this new this new gauntlet, which is nice. Um, the outside is mostly this sort of leather-like material. Um, there are some synthetic kind of nylon kydex in the front and uh, at the wrist joint here. Um, on the inside, there's uh, a layer of soft padding running all through the inside of the hand and the finger holders are made of a soft leather or again leather like material let's see so the construction again materials pretty good uh... the construction on this is quite quite good i, I really like it um, there are overlapping steel plates in the in the wrist cuff here uh... the front uh... your fingers and knuckle and thumb and everything just has you know a lot of good coverage. The thumb is really is a uh, has a lot of movement and is sewn in there pretty nice. So the uh, the thumb has some good mobility basically, and I can sort of try to show you that you know if you do some some of this stuff feels quite good. So that's nice. Thumbs up, haha. Uh -huh. So, um, let's see. The little finger hold thing, this design is interesting. Um, I wondered if I would like that or not, but it does feel pretty good and you get a pretty good close, you know, around the, around the hilt. Um, it is a little hard to close at first, but that's because this is, you know, this is a new glove and it needs to be broken in more. Um, I've had these for a few weeks and they've started to sort of, you know, flex in a little bit. Um, but yeah, they definitely, you know, it's definitely hard to close at first. Uh, let's take a look-see. So, um, only issues with this so far is that, um, again, closing the hand, but, um, the polished sparring gloves are very similar in that, you know, when you first get them, they're very stiff, they're hard to flex and close and everything. Um, only other issue that, you know, some might complain about is that the, the padding itself is kind of cheap. You can actually pull this right out, and uh, I saw another review where somebody did do that, just pulled out all of their padding. I don't think that's necessary. I kind of like it. It feels, you know, good against the hand. Um, but if you find it, you know, coming off, it will, it will just rip out, and you can replace it or do, you know, you can do your own modifications to the gauntlet if you want. Um, yeah. Other than that, I've had these for a few weeks, and they've stood up to some some good sparring. Um, they just, they take hits well, they protect the hand, I uh, so far I don't have any, no complaints on this one. Uh, if I have any failures, I'll post another review and we'll, you know, do an update on this gauntlet as it were, and see how it's, you know, held up. For now though, I'm really liking it. Um, yeah. Just wanted to add one more thing about these. Um, the way that these fingers are, I got the medium sized glove, which fits my hand pretty well. Uh, the one thing is that under a lot of gloves, like the polar sparring gloves, I usually like to wear a set of just light, uh, light leather gloves, basically, just to basically pad the inside of my hand a little bit and um, just, you know, pad against the glove itself, as it were. Um, with these fingers, it actually makes it very hard to do that. So if you're used to wearing a pair of gloves under your rigid gloves, um, these finger things can kind of make that difficult. That's just a small note I wanted to add. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.